AM 1220. You know, I really do feel duped because all week long, I've been looking at the weather forecast. And it looks like it's going to rain every day. I'm seeing 90%, 90%, 90%. Even last night, I saw 85%. And now I'm seeing that there's less than a 20% chance of rain all weekend long. Well, it has been sprinkling all day today. I know. I've been trying to, in fact, i got little sprinkles of paint in that because I'm doing things for the Relay for Life. Really? So I wanted the garage open, but um, I had to keep closing it. That is the voice of Kimmer Crookston, who's here for Relay for Life. The American Cancer Society presents the Santa Clarita Valley Relay for Life. This is a big fundraiser taking place all weekend long, Saturday and Sunday May 18th and 19th at Central Park. It's an event dedicated to helping our community and all communities attack cancer. And uh, we're here to promo the event. So how many years has Relay for Life been uh, taking place here in the SCV? Oh, goodness. Let's see. I, and I, I should I should know that. I, I, uh, I'm going to tell did, you. Okay. Tw- is it tw- 20? 20. This okay. is the 20th year. And what is the theme this year? Because every single year there's a theme. What is the theme this year? This year it's Game Over Cancer. Awesome. You know, so we're going to have a lot of different game things. There's going to be a winner, and uh, we want we want the defeat of cancer. Of to, course. To be the loser. Right. Uh, is there a fundraising goal this year? Um, well, every every year we do uh, try to raise as much as as we can. I uh, I apologize that I I. Don't have uh, all of those statistics. Not but, a problem. Uh, Not a but, problem. But uh, it it's going to be a great event for everybody, for families, and um, uh, we hope people come and participate. And- she's Kimber Crookston here for Relay for Life. It's cold outside, but she came in without a jacket because she's got on this <laughs> beautiful uh, purple polo. It's very cold in the studio. You've decided uh, to not put your jacket on. I- I'm seeing Hero of Hope right underneath the. Uh, Relay for Life logo. Is, is there any significance? Well, I was asked to be an ambassador a couple of years ago, and uh, and to be willing to go speak at other relays. So I had the opportunity of being invited all over Southern California, and then again last year, I also got invited to go to several relays and talk about, um, you know, the hope and all of that that comes along with this. How did you initially get involved with Relay for Life? My 11-year-old son was diagnosed with cancer. And he, when going through his treatment, he was bald, and I had him out someplace, and someone came up to me and asked if my son had cancer. And I said, yes, he does. And she said, well, do you know about Relay for Life? Hadn't heard about it. Thought it sounded like a race. Right. But she explained to me about the luminary ceremony told me the date and time of that, and um, that was the first I'd ever heard about it. I told my husband about it, and he said, you know, I I uh, have heard people at work talking about Relay for Life. I think they might have a group doing it. Um, so the, we only knew about the luminary ceremony, mm-hmm. and that's where bags are put around the right. walking track with c- candles and uh, to remember them. So he right then bought a bag put my son's name on it. Awesome. So that was the first time we got involved. Now, just in the past couple of years, it's always been a big event, uh, it, but now it's really blown up. I remember a couple of years back, it was held at Bridgeport Park, but next weekend, it's going to be held at Central Park, and it's an all-weekend-long thing. It starts, it starts at 3 p.m. on Saturday, right? Yeah, this is a little bit different. It usually has been a 24-hour event. This year, it's going to be an 18-hour event. We're trying something a little bit different. Uh, hopefully, it will help our survivors be able to participate in the celebration ceremony as well as the luminary ceremony, having them a little closer. What is the kickoff event at 3 p.m. on Saturday? Right. It starts out with a celebration ceremony. That's where we celebrate all those that are going through cancer. Uh, Somebody, even when when they're first diagnosed, they don't think they're a survivor, but the moment they hear, you have cancer, you are considered a survivor. Uh, this ceremony is to celebrate all those that are going through cancer and those that have survived it. So that's awesome. how we started off with. And it goes through all, uh, all night. I mean, through the overnights. Yes, right. Uh, what's the food situation like? I, we, I assume we, that we, there's going to be got, food trucks on the yes, scene. Yes, we got great food trucks out there. No problem with food. We're going to have a lot of good good food out there for people. Um, a lot of entertainment. We have, uh, if you love concerts in the park, this is another free awesome. thing. Awesome. 
uh, Operation 90s coming, and they're a tribute band to 90s bands. Love they're, the 90s. The best era, the best decade of music, <laughs> I think. Second of the 60s, maybe the 70s ahead of it. But 90s is right up there. Well, we're going to have three free concerts. Love so, it. So uh, have people come out, 4.30, 6.30, 8 uh, o'clock will be a free concert. Rocking all night. So, and, and we have things going on literally all night long. Yes. Now, the Relay for Life Santa Clarita starts at 3 p.m. next Saturday at Central Park. The event goes on until 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. Will there be camping? Is, is there a lights out at a certain time? Are there going to be activities going all night? There's activities that will go on all night. Cool. A lot of the teams that come will bring tents. Um, I sleep there every night, or excuse me, every relay. Um, since 2005 was our first time we went to a relay, but um, uh, we'll be there and and uh, the idea that cancer doesn't sleep so for right. a while we're gonna game over cancer game over cancer that's the theme of this year's relay for life coming up next weekend may 18th and going all the way till the 19th starts at 3 p.m gonna last till 9 a.m at central park to get involved to donate to start a fundraising team there are multiple fundraising teams it's not just one big event right uh, r right, and, but there's there's a lot of things that are going to be gone. We've got a kids' camp. If, cool. the, if parents want to come, maybe drop their kids off. That's free. Um, it's free to get in, but we hope that uh, people will buy some raffle tickets, pay for some games to, of course. to do, and, and help us defeat cancer. Of course. To get involved, to donate, to start a fundraising team, or just get some more info, head on over to the website, scvrelay.org. You can also send them an email if you – Want some more information? If you request some more information, info at scvrelay.org. You can also go to main.acsevents.org. That's main.acsevents.org. Enter your zip code. Find the event closest to you. These events go on all year long. This is just the main fundraiser. This is the big one. But there, there are events going on all year long. That, that's right. And I want to tell about another special event that's going to be at 9 o'clock. That is our luminary ceremony. This is when we remember those who have passed away, um, those uh, who uh, we want to honor that have, have gone through that, and it's uh, where everyone that comes will get a candle. And, and if you've around. never been to a Relay for Life, that luminary walk, it'll stay with you, no matter how old you are. You could be, you could be a toddler. You could be somebody uh, who's elderly. If you participate right. in that walk, it'll stay with you. That's what brought us to Relay for the first time when that uh, lady asked if we had cancer. Right. Um, that day, we had just come home from the hospital for my son having a treatment, and he, he felt he was too sick to go, so my husband and I went over. That year, it was at COC. Mm -hmm. um, when we saw the bags around the track, we thought, you know, he needs to see this, because he was feeling very, very much alone and freaky and uh what was going through of course so went back and got him and he was even too weak to walk up the steps my husband had to carry him and he carried him around the track um for that but it, it there was such a positive feel there and that's when i said i need to find out who puts this on and i want to be a part of it and you've been involved with it ever since, ever since. wow yeah. Awesome. So if you want to get involved, if you want to go to the Relay for Life Santa Cruz, this event is coming up next weekend, Saturday and Sunday, May 18th and 19th. Starts at 3 p.m. on Saturday, but lasts 18 hours this year. We're changing it up. We're yeah. adding hours. 18 well, hours. It's less. It used to be 24. Oh. So th this, oh. this, it used to start at 9 in the morning, but we are doing something different this time. Um, but it's so. a day packed of activities right. starting at 3 p.m. Going to last all the way till 9 a.m. on Sunday to get involved, go to scvrelay.org. You can also send them an email, uh, info at scvrelay.org. Cameron, thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, great. Oh, I, I hope to see everybody. I'm going to be at the welcome tent, so come tell me hi. Awesome. 348, time for a quick break. Stay tuned. Traffic on the 8th is coming.